Hi everyone, it's Dr. Derek here from Adumed. In today's video, I'll take you through a case study on migraines. So I've also attached a link to our migraine theory video, which has got all the baseline knowledge you need to get through this case study. So I'll read each question and don't forget to pause just at the end of each question, write your answer down and click continue when you're ready to move on. With all that said, let's dive straight in. Chloe is a 41 year old female with a history of migraines whilst in her teens. She has experienced an increase in her episodes of migraines with a visual aura over the last few months. She has an extensive cardiovascular history of raised cholesterol, hypertension, asthma, diabetes and obesity, as well as a previous myocardial infarction a year ago. She's been taking regular over-the-counter cocodamol to manage her headaches, but this hasn't helped. Here is the rest of her medication list. So, you examine her in clinic today, and she has a normal neurological and cardiovascular examination. Her observations reveal an elevated blood pressure of 162 systolic over 102, a pulse of 76, saturations of 98%, and a normal temperature of 36.2. So, she presents to you for help to treat her acute attacks of migraine. So, moving on to our first question, question one. What medication in the management of her acute migraine will we most need to avoid in this particular case and why? The answer to this question will be our triptans. The reason why triptans are the answer here is because there are two main contraindications here. Firstly, the patient has a history of ischemic heart disease and secondly, she's got uncontrolled hypertension. So these are two main contraindications for patients to be on any triptan medications. Now, I do know that the patient has a history of asthma, but the patient is already on some typical form of NSAID in the form of aspirin, which is not giving her any issues at all. So when we're thinking about risk and the most risk involved with medication, in this particular case, it will be triptans. So after discussing with Chloe some of our options for migraine prophylaxis such as propanolol, toparamate and metriptyline, she's not really keen on starting any more medications because she's on several different medications already. So question two, what non-pharmacological methods for migraine prophylaxis can you suggest in this case? Behavioural interventions such as relaxation techniques mindfulness or meditation can be helpful, including CBT. We could also think about acupuncture, which includes up to 10 sessions over a five to eight week period. Now, we know earlier on, we mentioned that this patient has been taken over the counter cocodamol to manage a headache. So moving on to question three, what features of a history will cause us to be worried about medication overuse headache being the cause of her symptoms and how will we manage this? Typically with medication overuse headaches, we'll see headaches that are present for 15 days or more a month. And these headaches are associated with an overuse of analgesic medications. Now with these particular patients, we need to advise them to withdraw the medication for at least a month. And then gradually the headache itself will improve. During this period of time, the headaches might slightly get worse before they eventually get better. So that brings us to the end of our video today in which I've taken you through a case study on migraines. Make sure you check out our migraine theory video which has got all the baseline knowledge that you need to get through this case study or in case you struggled with any parts of the questions. As always, if you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, make sure you check out the rest of our case studies. I've attached a case study playlist to the top of the video, somewhere on this video. Until the next time, I'll see you soon.